right, day six of No Nut November, and the title for today is, Does the Weekend Equal Stress? So take notice that when we are in our day-to-day lives, first of all, No Nut November started on Tuesday, and this was the first weekend we have um, have gone through. So when you're in the day-to-day life in the weekdays, During the week, we are in a certain pattern. We're in a cycle. We're in a routine of things. Okay? Tell me, like, your your Monday right now, tomorrow. You know exactly how it's going to kind of go from Monday to Tuesday, Wednesday. You have a pattern. For the common guy, the weekend, the weekend poses a whole shift in this routine of things. It's a whole entire shift. You might now be off work. You might have two days off. You might now be away from people or around a whole new set of people. Just take notice that your circumstances, your your setting, it, it shifts. So the weekend just brings a whole new a whole new disruption of your way of things. For me, I was always trying to escape myself on the weekends. There was a point in my life where I could not spend a single weekend alone. At home, I had to get the fuck out every single weekend. And it didn't matter if it was a club, a bar, um, going to a friend's house. Fuck, it did not matter. As long as I didn't have to be home alone, what was I essentially doing? I was escaping myself. We as guys have become experts at escaping ourselves. It is escaping having to sit with our thoughts feelings, emotions. I always repeat those three words because those words in terms of um, feeling into them, it is such uncharted territory for us. It is so foreign to us. It is so foreign um, feeling into them and knowing how to address them, how to um, react, respond to them. Okay. Or we're always reacting. We don't know how to respond to them. So the weekend, it just equals us now having all this shift in um, pattern and now we are stuck with ourselves on the weekend. So it is a whole new set of challenges. And I want you to just recognize that, you know, I'm not telling you like, okay, next weekend, look how much time you have to yourself. Sit and be by yourself. Guys, we've been escaping ourselves for so many months, years of our lives that it's going to take a whole shift of behavior. But the the most important thing is, is recognizing, just recognize how hard it is to be by ourselves, how hard it is to sit and feel into what's going on in our minds, our bodies, our spirit. It is very difficult. I can give you all the tips and tricks to to sit and feel into all, all the things you're feeling, but it's it feels nearly impossible right now. The, the most important thing is to just plant the seed. Plant the seed and recognize how difficult it can be. And be easy on yourself. Like, don't be hard on yourself. Notice how, how many years you've been escaping yourself and fapping away on the weekend, beating your meat, and just not wanting to be with yourself, trying to escape yourself. Just recognize it at first. I, 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 was a, I still am a master at it. And I'm slowly shifting into appreciating myself, loving myself, wanting to spend alone time with myself. And when I am spending alone time with myself, to not drink, not to smoke, not to beat my meat, to feel into my own strength, my own authentic self, to love myself, essentially. I think I said that twice, but I think you're you're understanding the general theme that I'm painting here. So the weekend, it's a whole shift in terms of our routine of things. And as we shift into the weekend, allow yourself to just be in the weekend, allow yourself to just be with yourself. Just feel how hard it is to really be by ourselves. If we can start 
mastering how to be by ourselves. Guys, there's nothing that can like destroy you. There's nothing that can really like pull the rug from underneath you. It's because you're a master at, at, at being yourself, at being by yourself. You you recognize yourself so well. No one can say anything, do anything to you that can like trigger you. You start becoming like just like top tier level of yourself. You start becoming your most authentic self and you can kind of stay in that level of yourself. And the weekend is when we have the opportunity to step into this version of ourself. But like I said, we become masters at escaping this, this time that we have to really better ourselves. I'm not telling you to read books and journal and don't make it look like it's like a, a military exercise. Find fluid, um, creative, fun ways to to be by yourself, with yourself, and not to escape yourself. That don't involve booze, weed, beating your meat, binged eating. It's going to look different for each and every one of you. But I understand that the weekend brings a whole new set of challenges than the, than the weekdays do. I'm, I jumped all over the place. It's kind of hard to collect my thoughts right now. But I hope you understand the general theme or picture that I was painting uh, be kind with yourselves, be loving with yourselves, be patient with yourselves. And when you start looking at it like this, you're going to start shifting your perspective on things and on yourself. Okay. I love you all.